Hello and welcome to Tapoco Hotel. Is that how you say it? Tapoco? Historic. Tapoco. Historic Tapoco Lodge and Resort. Where they're supposed to have an amazing bar, an incredible restaurant, a historical room which could be haunted, and it's super. I gotta say, I got a deal on it on bookings.com. It's normally nearly the 300 mark. I got it for around 265, give or take. But I also got the King Suite. I am very excited and also kind of a little bit nervous. But I am, I just can't wait. I've been looking at the food online. A lot of times, the reasons I travel to places is because of the food. No other reason. The food and the possibility of a spooky night. Pretty much it. You ever think about it? I'm hungry. Pizza. Also, it is snowing. Yesterday, well, last night, as you saw from the beginning, uh, we had a, a funnel cloud go over us and it was 74 degrees and this morning we woke up and it's snowing. We have our own lodge. I didn't realize I booked like a historical lodge. Not just a historical room in the building behind me, but an actual old, old lodge. It's really cold and I'm really excited and it's a bar. This is the way to the caverns. So you get your own parking space. We're right next to a hiking trail. Bear Creek Falls Trail. Right in front of us is this beautiful river. That's stunning. And these are the little like lodges, historical lodges. They look renovated, so they're not completely historical, but this one is ours. This is all the information. Is that a rocking chair I see? I care. Oh, there is. I need a little mosquito thing to keep the bugs away. So here's our door. Oh my god. The lighting is. I was told the lighting was. Okay, let's turn the light on. Oh my goodness. Let me introduce you to our room. We have two rocking chairs. We have a thank you for staying with us, a charger port, a beautiful view outside of the stream. Two bears just chilling. This massive, beautiful bed with real wood. Leave it on, I don't like it. We come over here, we have a TV. On the review they said there was no TV, but it does have TV and it's playing smooth jazz. You got all that dresser space right here. This room is massive. You get a Keurig, two waters, a bucket of wine. You have a refrigerator, if I can open it. Lots of refrigerator space, a microwave, a mirror. This is, I believe, closet space. You can control your AC. Closet space, a fan. Hey, there's a fan in here you can plug in too. This place is beautiful. Let's go look at the, <laughs> the bathroom. Look at this, this changes. It's got from like cozy cottage to like 1930s. <laughs> Something. Smells, it smells like green tea. Oh, I just found this. Hi! Here's a bathroom. We have a view outside of a mountain. Just straight up a mountain. So we have a hair dryer, two towels, some counter space here, some towels, massive mirror, a sink. Comes this cute little complimentary soap, some moisturizers. What is this? Conditioner. 
makeup wipe, towel. I don't know if you could call that a bathtub. I guess it's a bathtub. It's a funny shaped bathtub. Nice little shower. And your toilet. It's like a, a nightclub toilet, nightclub bathroom right here. You wouldn't know. And then you open this up and you're back into a cottage. Now, let's talk about the things that are a bit like eh, okay? Because there are a few things. First off, super water damaged ceiling. <laughs> a little damage. Again, this is a really old cottage they've revamped. Not waterproof in here, so they probably need to waterproof that. Everything here seems very clean. I don't see anything that's dirty. Just the ceiling. The very unwaterproof ceiling. And again, damage on the door. And here is a beautiful room. We've got renovations for about 6.30, the restaurant. And they gave us chocolates. Wood. Wood chocolates. This has been open since 1930s, which the bathroom makes sense now. What is this? Oh, we have the history. What's on site? Hammock, hiking, fires, oh, s'mores, library, gaming, cards, books, bird watching, stargazing, yellow hammock creek, welding, hunting, rock collecting, tennis, photography, seasonal wildflower viewing, exploring, and then the cavern itself with drinks and a restaurant. <laughs> a drink each because looking at the menu I just got this feeling the bar is crazy expensive so we got a rumble drink if I'm if I'm feeling like you know oh let's just try one drink I might but we are walking from our hotel room to the restaurant and I'm about to order the biggest fecking pizza and I said feck fecking pizza ever and I'm super excited. Oh look, there's a fire pit area. That's kind of cute. Near firewood. So you can go over there and just start a fire. The man at the desk told me that in the morning there's a yoga session. But um, I don't have any yoga clothes. So. so that is where the breakfast is held. The restaurant's downstairs, the bar's to the side. And this is the main lobby. <sighs> Try and be a little discreet. Oh, it does smell amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. They have tent stuff. Shirts and jackets. You have woolly stuff. That's nice. Oh, they have nice mugs. Got a lot of woolly stuff, like they know their audience. It looks really nice. It's only 44, it's not terrible. It's kind of random, but... Oh, they have honey. They have a honey set though, what is that? Handmade lavender soap. I've got some honey. You got like a man's of like kit there in case you forget your stuff. That's nice, just a really nice little kit room. That fire feels me. I love these. Oops. A little bit of wise on. Got a nice fire room. Oh, look at the bar. Also, you get more drinks. They have fair life here as well if you want to get a fair life. And they have alcohol. The barn. It's a barn area. And 
that's just the other part of the hotel over there. I think about the back. Oh my god, it's so simple. In the summer you can sit out here and enjoy the restaurant. But it is 40 degrees, if not lower than that right now. And the tables are covered in ice, so we're not gonna sit outside. It'd be cool if they had heaters, which they don't. Oh, they do, but it's not on. There's a barber shop. Wow. This is nice. <laughs> Coffee to sit outside by the river, so it should be nice. Whoop. So now we gotta walk back in the dark with a pizza, a massive pizza in my hand. It's like maybe in the low 30s. Stop freezing. Oh god, so cold. And good morning. It is the next day, we're up, we're dressed, and we're in the same clothes. And uh, we're off to get breakfast. I think it finishes either at 10 or 11, but I'm not sure if it's 9 now. So we gotta get going. I enjoy sleeping in the bed. Uh, I will say, personally, I was freezing. Personally, this guy over here was not freezing at all. He was actually hot. So, depending on your body temperature, I was cold. I'm always cold, though. Waffles to share and a biscuits to share. Then we get like a meal. Yeah. 
just a few sticks. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about how much I love it when <coughs> hotels do this. They've got everything you need in case you forget something. A little alcohol section, some wine. Beer safe. The beer safe. Ice cream, sodas, drinks, coffees, waters. They have s'mores kits because they have fire pits outside. Some snacks. They got all the historical photos of this place. 1900s, 1926. I think this thing's cool. That's their bar menu. It's really nice. What we love about this hotel, we definitely will be coming back for a bit longer on a different season is it's very very cozy, it's very relaxing, it's very comfortable. No, that's not bad. Moscow Mule 14. Yeah, the prices aren't that bad here. It's a beautiful fireplace. It's been a nice little getaway. I know the hotel rooms which are, these are the hotel rooms. They're actually cheaper. I picked one of the more expensive hotels and I got a discount. Um, so we got the most expensive room you can have. You can also rent out four. Yeah. You can also rent out how, like the, some of these are actually just like cabins you can rent out with like two bedrooms and up to, I think it's up to like six people in some of them. Um, and you have like what we have, which is like kind of like a romantic rendezvous kind of type room. So yeah, I give this a 4.5 stars. Sorry, I'm blind. The sun is like right in my eyes. Oh my god. 4.5 stars just because of the bathroom. The paint was peeling due to moisture, I guess. Oh, the sun is so bright. Oh, my sunglasses are in the Jeep. Is this place for families? If your family is very active and outdoors, outdoor-ish, then yes. Um, the things to do here are driving on the Dragon, going to see Fontana, dam and hiking trails and in the right sees them s'mores the bar is restaurants you sit by the river there's picnic areas a lot of hiking trails so if your fam whole family is into that definitely but if you have kids that are bored and rather be on their phones then no because there is internet here but you're not it's not the best internet but people who come here shouldn't come here to sit on their phones this is a beautiful place for romantic rendezvous in fact it's heavily kind of shown like it's a very nice romantic getaway kind of place. I think kids would get bored here if they're not into being active. I would say it's really relaxing out here. It's definitely a, it's like a getaway away from hecticness and the city. We'll definitely come back probably maybe middle of spring or uh, I think maybe fall. I, think all, I don't want to come here in summer, I think it'll be bare. And here in summer it gets it hectic. The yeah, it's so busy. So maybe in fall, where it's starting to cool down again, so we can probably get fire pit going and stuff like that. Um, we'll probably come back um, and do maybe some hiking trails. But uh got to go back because we got RV life uh, duty. We got a stick. That's pretty much it.
button if you like the video and if you want to watch more subscribe and hit that bell if you've been here let us know what you think leave a comment down below or any other places you think we should go thank you